Hi guys, welcome again to just another installment of my series of Jano's channel. As you can see right now, I'm here enjoying the sugar white sand beach and the palm trees and the ocean. This place is really unique. I love it so much. I think I went, I came here at least three or four times in the seven or ten years of my travels. It is really unique. So guys, as I said before, this place is so unique um, also because it's an archipelago of 365 islands. The smallest island is actually something like 2 meters by 5 meters, which is about, um, I would say 20 feet by 50 feet if I'm not mistaken. It's called One Palm Island. Um, so guys, as I said before, um, this place is so unique, it's so indigenous that the tribes here, uh, they literally live like tribesmen, they live like aborigines, uh, they don't have passports, they, um, you know, there's no hotels here, basically what you would do is you bring your own hammock um, for like 20 bucks uh, in the city somewhere and you would put it from one palm tree to another and then lounge in that. Um, I don't particularly like to sleep in the hammock, it's so uncomfortable, but I do love aerial yoga, yoga in the hammock, and I find it an amazing way to um, extend your spine, yeah, so if you have any spine problems or lordosis or um, any sort of, you know, pain, lumbar pain, aerial yoga is so good and so relieving for that. So basically a day in San Blas Island uh, would consist of getting up in the morning in your hammock or in a beach hut and then taking um, a day trip to one of the neighboring islands. So the names go something like Dog Island, Palm Island, Cat Island, um, other all kinds of other names, uh, other islands. So guys, basically um, the best way of visiting, one of the best ways of visiting the islands is um, taking a private yacht. Until 2015, the only way to visit these islands was being a part of a private yacht, which would sail from um, Carti, which is the biggest island over here, to Colombia, to Cartagena or, uh, or one of the neighboring towns there or vice versa, from Cartagena to Portobello or Colón, which is here in Panama. And um, it's one of the best ways of visiting the islands, first of all, because you're part of an organized tour and you definitely learn so much while being on a yacht. I mean, when I took a yacht, I sailed with <coughs> this company and uh, it was such an amazing experience. We had so much fun. Uh, I learned a lot about being on the yacht. I learned how to make a lobster, how to cook a mahi-mahi. It's one of my favorite fish in the whole world. I mean, being a vegetarian, <laughs> I my philosophy about food is that you should eat what you want when you want it. And for me, eating what I want when I want it is usually what is readily available where I am at that moment. So being in San Blas, it's, it's obviously seafood. I mean, incredible area of seafood, especially freshly caught from the deep sea water. It is something absolutely out of this world. Um, so guys, yeah, about the food. Um, for me also it was, I would say, a pretty transcendental experience when the captain's wife, she was actually the cook on the yacht, um, she took after, after she's finished, you know, like, taking apart the, you know, almost 200 pound ginormous fish. Um, and uh, she basically took the bones, you know, the whole, the, the entire skeleton of it, and she gave it back to the ocean. So for me, there was something so primordial, almost, and transcendental in that 
when she gave the skeleton back to the ocean where it came from um, in some ways symbolizing the circulation of, of life of, of the food chain in nature you know when the little fish will probably eat the little meat meat leftovers here and there off of the skeleton and um, you know something very very special <laughs> being a witness of that yeah. You know, being here, I feel just like you are where you're right where you're supposed to be. And this place just gives so much um, inner peace and just belonging and sense of I am right where I'm supposed to be. And I can feel the energy, you know aligned alignment I feel energetic alignment in all of my energy centers and so guys I'm going to um, cover my head a little bit uh, to help myself become more introspective, uh, look within a bit more, be more aware of what's going on within. I put my hands into the Jnana Mudra. This is the Jnana Mudra. This is the Mudra of Knowledge or Jnana Mudra actually. And focus more within and focus onwards. Focus inwards. Sometimes when we open our higher centers, we often feel that we don't give enough to ourselves. We often feel that we give too much to other people. Remember that it's very good to ground your spiritual energy, feed your physical body with this energy, and Feed, feed your inner organs with it. Quite often this energy needs to be channeled correctly to the inner organs, especially of the excretory system. You can take this energy, you know, that flows through you and, and rub it in and caress your physical body, your inner organs with this energy. Feed it and like, you know, give it to your physical body. Your physical body is really the only home you have to live. Your physical body is the only home. Your body is a temple. Feel a lot of gratitude. Also, open your legs a little bit if you if you feel like something needs to come out, some energy needs to be released from the physical body, something from your etheric body, and remember to stretch. When you close your legs, when you close your arms, your energy stays within you, so this is very important. Namaste.
see you guys in the next series. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>